video is craziness. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited to do this one. Um, I hope that you think that it's entertaining, cool, relaxing. Um, so from from the from the title, obviously this is Shoe Collection 29, but this is kind of a special edition one where uh, you'll see. I mean, you can probably tell from the photo, but. Um, this is big time. This is big time. So, uh, anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, the channel keeps growing. We're doing well. Um, I'm back on Twitch, um, like three or four times a week, uh, which is just Twitch TV, um, slash Maddie Tingles, or just search Maddie Tingles on Twitch, okay? Um, so anyway, we're gonna get into Shoe Collection 29, all right? Um, I hope you're all well out there. I hope that you're all safe, being smart out there. And um, that's pretty much it, that's it. So let's get into Shoe Collection 29, welcome. Shoe Collection 29, <laughs> welcome. Um, so today's, this one's gonna be pretty crazy and basically it's gonna be an unboxing um, and then we'll see what kind of sounds we can get. Outside of the Yeezy, uh, the Red Octobers, this is definitely the craziest shoe I've ever had on a shoe collection. Um, I'm gonna say this this one might be this one might actually be a little more exclusive and hard to find than the Yeezy Two. Um, I think that the Red Octobers are, maybe are worth more, um, and we'll get into that. Um, but I think this one might be harder to get your hands on, uh, if that makes sense. So, let's get into it. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, first things first, we're going to sanitize the hands just because you never know. And I hope that all of you are being smart out there. I can give you some hand sounds. All right. So, this shoe um, needs no introduction to people who follow the shoe culture, but if you do not, which is totally okay, um, this shoe uh, is nearly impossible to find. Um, it came out, uh, let me think, in May. It came out, I think, the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. Um, May of this year, and it sold out in seconds, and then the resale value went through the roof. <laughs> like, it's it's actually crazy. So, without further ado, <clears throat> I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Shoot. 
homage in respect to the chunky monkey um, flavor, right, of, of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Um, and so, once I show you the shoe, that'll, that'll make more sense for sure. Uh, but like I said, they were released May of this year. Designed by Peter Moore, um, who is a designer at Nike, who also designed um, a lot of the ones and all of the um, the uh, like the Travis Scott the Travis Scott Jordan uh, collabs he designed as well. So he's a little bit he's like kind of the designer that's like a little bit out there, if you will, and designing stuff that. the shoe. So, again, there's the box. And the shoes are just, they just sit in there like that. Okay. So now I'm trying to remember which shoe do I do. I think I do the left. Which would be this one. Perfect. I'm not sure why. This is a random Matty fact, but um, for some reason, all my life, I always thought that left shoe looks cooler <laughs> and I know how that sounds trust me um, but just everything left um, like for instance when I would play um, like MLB the show or 
or something, right? I would always make my character a left-handed hitter because I always thought lefty swing looks better. Um, it just seems like lefty, left, everything looks way better. That's all. <laughs> so, um, all right. So let's 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 not let's not mess around here. Let's just do it. Are you ready for the Nike SB Ben and Jerry's Chunky Dunkies?
such an exclusive thing um, and it's so hard to get right now is because this container with the shoes in it um, was only made for friends and family okay so it was um, not made for the public um, and so obviously once people bought um, the shoes retailed at $100 right and they saw what they were going for online people started to resell um, so as of right now um, it looks like on I just go by StockX um, it looks like right now they're going from anywhere from two thousand to five thousand dollars which is you know <laughs> absolutely insane um, for a shoe that's like that's craziness um, so uh, I am very very lucky to uh, be in possession of them it's very exciting but that is why um, these became such a, a hit is that especially this this version with um, with the container um, was only friends and for friends and family right so um, they actually came uh, just in a normal SB box um, it wasn't normal but a normal size shoe box um, as well and obviously those are still I think those are like 1700 so they're still extremely expensive um, but obviously not as exclusive and expensive as as these junky donkeys um, in the um, in the container right so um, I think the cool thing and like here's the thing I don't know if I'll ever wear these like it would have to be a really 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 big deal and a big event or something for me to wear these honestly um, just because of their value um, but the cool thing I think is that you could basically wear these with anything Right? I mean, there's black on it. You could definitely wear it with white, blue, yellow, red. I mean, like, you could basically wear this with anything. And I think the crazier the shoe, um, like the crazier the colorway of the shoe, the crazier your outfit could be. Right? So, like, once they see these on your feet, I mean, I think that you could wear whatever you want. <laughs> right? So, um... Realistically, these could have been $100, 
dollars and nobody would have bought them nobody could have bought them and nothing would happen right but when people saw them and the respectable grail ish um sites started writing about them then it was like oh these are amazing and we gotta get them <laughs> you know what i mean so i think that's a big part of it too is just the sneaker culture made them into um, a holy grail shoe, if you will. Okay. <laughs> 
I hope that it was relaxing. I hope that it was informative, entertaining. Whatever you come to these videos for, I hope that you got it out of this video. Okay, so um, that's going to do it for me today. I hope that you're all well out there. Okay, I hope that you're all safe. Please take some time for yourself if you're not um, and find some